everyone, I'm Amber from Sweet Am's Cookies. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to write on cookies with royal icing without a projector. I'll also show you how to make the little royal icing roses in the corners using the wet on wet technique. So let's get started! To decorate this cookie, I'll be using Flood Consistency Royal Icing in light blue, burgundy, pink, dark green, and light green. See the description for a list of colors that I used. Before you start decorating, make sure to cut a small opening in your tipless bags. Ice the cookie with light blue Flood Consistency Royal Icing and a decorating tip 3. I'm using a tip here because I feel that it gives me more control over the icing. You can also use a tipless bag for this step. Use a scribe tool to help shape the icing. To make the roses, pipe circles of light pink Flood Consistency Royal Icing while the base layer is still wet. Then add swirls of burgundy icing. Use the scribe tool to swirl the icing and shape it to look like a rose. Add dots of light green icing for the leaves. Pipe a smaller dot of dark green on top. Drag the scribe tool through the green dots to shape them into leaves. See the description for a link to my detailed video tutorial on the wet on wet royal icing rose technique. Allow the icing to dry overnight. Print the lettering template and place a piece of tissue paper over it. This is just standard tissue paper that you would use in a gift bag. Trace the lettering with an edible ink marker.
see the description for links to all of the supplies I'm using for this project. Place the tissue paper over the cookie. Trace over it again with the edible ink marker. Press hard enough so that the ink bleeds through the tissue paper onto the icing. It's not going to be a perfect transfer, but it creates a general guide to trace when you don't have a projector. Add a few drops of water to stiff consistency icing to thin it to medium consistency. I'm using navy blue food coloring with a little bit of burgundy to make this shade of blue. The icing should hold a soft peak. Pipe over the lettering with the medium consistency icing and a small decorating tip. I'm using a tip 1.5, but you can also use a tip 1. Use light pressure and hold your piping hand steady by resting your forearm on the table. I keep my left hand on my right wrist to help keep my hand steady as I pipe. Use a scribe tool to help shape the icing. When piping in cursive, use heavier pressure on the downstrokes of the letters to make those areas thicker. If your icing isn't holding its shape, squeeze it out of the bag and add more stiff consistency icing to thicken it up. If it's not coming out of the tip easily, you probably need to add a few more drops of water. Getting the right icing consistency is one of the most difficult parts of decorating cookies. It takes a lot of practice. See my guide to royal icing to learn more about icing consistency. The link is in the description.
Switch the tip on the medium consistency icing to a number two. Pipe a bead border around the edge of the cookie. See the description for a link to my detailed tutorial on this technique. And here are the finished cookies. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any suggestions for a design that you'd like to see, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, bye! Join us every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern to watch us decorate cookies live on YouTube and Facebook.